So Mercedes have literally just announced their W13 and it looks absolutely epic, but there's lots of engineering stuff we need to go over. The way they're shaping the flow over these cars that's different to a couple of the others, they've got some really interesting concepts going on here, so let me run you through them. Starting at the front, that front wing is the most interesting thing we've seen from this car. The way they've joined the front wing to the nose is similar to Ferrari and Williams in that they've joined the nose right to the main plane of the front wing, the, lo the lower plane, which is pretty normal if you look back at the previous cars, but with these newer ones, even the show car, as well as every other car we've seen really since then, has had this separated main plane of the front wing. Now that is thought to be so you can get better flow through, focusing on getting air to the floor, which is cool. But what Mercedes have done is allowed them to play with the shape of the front wing in a pretty interesting way. If you look at the main elements of the wing, this is where things get a little bit bizarre. And it looks like they're trying to generate the majority of their downforce on the mid span of the wing. But then it's got this very aggressive cutout towards the middle. Now this is thought to be so you can get air flowing through there and towards the floor of the car. It also looks like they're shaping the planes of the wing, so they're generating lateral flow to deal with the tire weight. So that's also pretty interesting. Now, if you think back to our video on the McLaren front wing, Scarbs was very concerned that the way they were loading the center of their wing on the car they showed at least, might be robbing downforce from the floor, is that that's where you're generating the flow through that feeds the floor. Whereas Mercedes looked to be keeping this area pretty free, allowing flow through, and that could be to make sure they're getting the absolute max maximum from the underfloor. And then the next thing that the majority of teams have been playing with a lot, with lots of different concepts, is these side pods. You know, Ferrari have this scallop design, Aston Martin have this really aggressive undercut, and then the McLaren kept things pretty narrow. And that's the direction that Mercedes seem to have gone here. They haven't got the louvres, which are there for cooling exits, so that it looks like they're doing that at the rear of the car, similar to the McLaren. But they've kept things packaged very tight, and really it looks very reminiscent of the previous cars we've seen. That, that shape of the side pods, it looks similar across the 2022 and the 2021 car, if you look at that. And this is to encourage creating downforce from the floor, particularly at the diffuser. So that's pretty interesting. And lastly, the rear wing, that's an interesting shape too. If you look back at the previous cars, Mercedes have often run a very bowed rear wing. Now on this car, they've run, gone for this sort of double bow. And this looks pretty different to a lot of the other rear wings we've seen on the other cars. So it'll be interesting to see how this all works. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. You should check out this other place where we've gone over the 2022 cars in a load of detail. And I'll catch you in the next one.